who else is ready to say goodbye to 2021? Hi everybody, welcome back to Talk and Chalk. This is my YouTube channel. I am Beck, and this is where I share all my tips and resources, anything to do with education. And it has been a while since I sat down on my bedroom floor to share something with you all because it's been a crazy year. COVID, lockdown, awards, all sorts of wonderful things have been happening among all of the horrible things that have been happening. But now today I get to share something great with you for 2022. So you may have been with me in the past where I have shared uh, OneNote planners with you all for free. And I have to disclose that this planner has lots of things that um, have been created collaboratively. There are things that I have created myself. There are things that I may have shared from websites and I've absolutely credited the websites and these are free resources that these websites share. And it's just a mixture of things in there to hopefully help you get started for 2022, hopefully reduce your workload a little bit and maybe help you get started with OneNote if you are a first time user. Now, unfortunately, I'm kicking this off with a bit of sad news. Unfortunately, the team at Microsoft haven't been able to generate a, a, a file version of this yet where it can be shared across all platforms. But don't go yet if you are someone who uses Apple devices or, or different versions of OneNote, you should still be able to download this uh, using my prompts from today. And if not, they might still be able to create this in a link that can be shared later on. It just might be later in January, maybe later than that, if they can do it. Now, the good news is, is that to, in, in lieu of the fact that I haven't got this link to be able to share with you, the amazing Ryan Noonan from the TPRL team at the New South Wales Department of Education technology team has been able to create a Google file version of this, a Google, a Google planner version of this. So I've got all of that ready to share with you today as well. So please be mindful of following the prompts to download this because this just gets really fiddly doing it this way. So I will be sharing with you a link that will take you to a Google folder. In this Google folder is the Google version of this planner where you will need to download and copy it to your own Google Drive. Or you can highlight it and click copy and paste it to your own Google Drive. Please don't open it and start working in those files directly. You need to copy it to your own one. This is a big must. When it comes to the OneNote version of the planner, you will need to click download and create for it to be your own. This is where it does get fiddly. Now, if you are an Apple user, if you've got some other device uh, that may only have the Windows 10 version of OneNote, this is, this is where it will get fiddly for you, I promise. If you can find a PC, a laptop, uh, another version of this uh, that has the 2016 version of OneNote on it, which will be the version that I'm showing you, if you sign in using your normal credentials that you sign in with and download it and open it, it will be in your recent files, it will be in your cloud system, which means when you go to your Apple, if you go to your iPad, if you go to your Windows 10 version and click open other notebooks or open more notebooks, it will be sitting in your recent files and you will be able to access it. If you're having any difficulties though, please message me. I will work one-on-one -on -one with you to try and figure it out, even if it means us Zooming or video chatting some way and screen sharing so I can help you through it. I really want to make sure you guys are able to utilize this because obviously a lot goes into to updating this every single year to make sure it's user-friendly for you. I've taken on board a lot of feedback and added lots of new things. And if you're an executive, I've put things that in there that should help you as well. If you are a school that would like to use this across your whole school collaboratively, you can download this for yourself and have it saved in your own OneNote. And what you can do is create a staff notebook where you add all of your staff to it and then all the things that are in the planner I'm sharing with you, you just copy and paste over into your one. And if, if this is a new process for you, I've run other schools through this as well. I am happy to Zoom with you to do some uh, professional learning with your school uh, to try and support you in this process. Because believe me, after doing this now for five years, I think I've been using OneNote, it really does save a lot of time and workload uh, to be able to use this system in a, a really good way to support your staff. So... 
I know that's a lot of information there. Uh, you will be able to see the links in the description box below, but if you haven't done this before or if you are unsure about the differences between 2016 and other versions, please watch these first prompts on how I open it up and then that will get you started. Let's have a look. All right, everyone, this might get fiddly, so let's just try and do this together. I am going to share a link with you in the description box below. That means you need to be in OneNote to open this description box below the video. The link will take you to what looks like this. It will say no preview available and it is because it is a very large file. You need to click download. So you click on download, give it a minute. It says it's too large for scanning for viruses. I promise I'm not sending you any viruses. So you click download anyway. Now down the bottom of the screen, now I'm on a Surface device, down here you will see it loading. It will take a minute, it's quite slow. So I'm just gonna pause till it gets to the end. Okay, it's almost done. This took about two minutes to download. So once it's finished here, you can see the circle's complete. It's giving me a little flash. I'm going to click on it. This prompt box opens up and down the bottom right here you see create. Click create. Now you can see I'm in the 2016 version of OneNote already. It's unpacking. This will take a minute as well. Just give it time to load. Be patient with it. If you're depending on your device as well, it may take longer. Don't worry, it's working. And now it's loading and here it is welcome to the 2022 OneNote teacher planner now if you've used my OneNote planners in the past or if you've seen the past videos you'll see a lot of this stuff is the same because hey why re reinvent the wheel on things that we know are saving us time already so you've got our welcome page here just a disclaimer that obviously this is not for sale this is not for profits this should be free for any teacher. So if you see this being sold somewhere or reproduced in a way that's obviously not meant to be, please let me know so that I can do something about it. Uh, you can delete this page. Now in here, you'll see across the top, we've got our tabs here. And if you are brand new to OneNote, think of it as a folder. So the across the top are, top are like the little tabs that you have on a folder. And down the right hand side here, where my cursor is, these are like your plastic sleeves that are in the folder. That's the easiest way for me to remember it. Now this is completely editable. This is your copy. Feel free to play with it, change it, delete it, edit it as much as you want. If you're going to use this for your school collaborative program, obviously pick and choose the things that you want. So down the side here, if you're brand new, these are lots of links that are created by OneNote, uh, by Microsoft for you to train in OneNote. So lots of links here that you can click on and do some professional learning. I also highly recommend going to the Microsoft Educator community and seeing what's there. Now, if you don't want this page, it's unnecessary, right click, hit delete. You can take it away, not a problem. So starting off with our first section, school documents here. There are templates here for staff lists, roles and responsibilities, uh, spots for your school expectations, school map, um, your, your school leaders, your class lists, uh, supervision, permission to publish. Um, if you're an executive, there is a template here for your budget. Moving into timetables. We've got timetables here that are set up for your terms. So if you want to use this in a collaborative staff document, you can right click on this, copy it, and copy it and paste it into your staff one. And I've just set it up in sections here that make it easy to go. This section here with OneNote templates, this is like the program stuff. So there's a program checklist here, uh, an example assessment schedule, an assessment schedule, um, sorry, an assessment monitoring sheet if you want to. So I'm just using an old example here with the PM readers and the weeks and you can track it. I've given you the same thing using a OneNote format. Oh, there we go, another OneNote format. An example teacher timetable, a weekly planner, a day planner, a support timetable template, meeting minutes, an IEP template. And then down here we've got all these KLA templates. So I've given it to you using a OneNote table version. And if you don't like OneNote, if you prefer to stick to um, Word, there's a Word version there. So any Word document that you can see here, you can double click on it, you can open it, and then you can click File, Save As, and save it to your device and edit it as much as you want. Copy and paste, choose your own adventure. There's more here for writing, guided reading, health, hizzy, creative arts, 
uh, an integrated template if you're making an integrated unit. You've got a NAPLAN scoring chart here where you can put your detailed scores there. Uh, variation to routine. Uh, you've got sections here for carnivals, incursions. Go to PDP. Here's all the documents down the right hand side that you need for your PDP. And then it's got the PDP template in there. Again, that's a Word document. Open it, save it as your own. Uh, I'm New South Wales Department of Education, so I put all of these things in here, like the updated mandatory training sheet, the school fact day sheet, the code of conduct, professional learning policies, uh, the NCCD quick guide for 2021 is in there, lots of cheat sheets. So obviously if these are things that don't pertain to you, feel free to delete it and you know unclog the amount of things that are in here. Uh, stuff for the learning progressions. Now I've tried to put the most updated version in there, version three. Um, obviously new ones will be coming, uh, you know, as we go through the new syllabus, but you know, this is as updated as I can get for you. Hopefully we will never, ever, ever have to reuse a section like this, remote learning. But hey, we now learn that, you know, flexible learning might be something that's needed uh, as we move forward with kids that, you know, if they're ill and working from home, anything like that. There's things in here that might be helpful for you. If you are a beginning teacher and you're doing accreditation, this section here is designed to help you uh, compile your evidence. So we've got a section for standard one, standard two, standard three. And if you go down the tabs on the sides here, we've got artifacts. So 3.1, chuck in some artifacts. 3.2, chuck in some artifacts. The idea is, as you come up with it, just save the picture, save the work sample, whatever it is. And that might help you put your accreditation together. The right here, we've got a drop down box, external validation. Now, if you're a school that's going through external validation, feel free to contact me and I'll tell you how we did ours. There are just some example notes from professional learning that we've done, um, some documents that you get um, to support you doing external validation. And then there's spots here for your evidence sets. So, you know, you want to get your team together. There's your staff. This is not my school stuff. I just put in some random stuff here as an example the name of your set, your artifact samples. And then over here, we've got these tabs where your team can start compiling artifacts and evidence. Um, I've given you a sample artifact here um, <clears throat> on what that could look like. And then you can continue on there. And it's good if you're in a collaborative document where people can just um, put their information in there as needed. There is a section here for program. So let's say um, you're working on this yourself, this is your own document, or even if you're doing this as a shared thing, it might give you ideas for your staff. This is where your program is. So your PDP with all your information can go in here. We've got a term planner in here with a calendar. So Calipedia has lots of different things. So I've given you um, the color one, the link to where it is on the website, and there's just an overview of lots of other ones they have. Here is an editable calendar for you though. The dates have already been fixed for you. I've put some staff development days, some of the national days that we have, a lovely reminder here about the science and maths conference that I'm part of the committee for each year. And we have the amazing Daniela Falecki as keynote and Steve Francis as keynote. Highly recommend coming. So the registration link is there. If you click on term two, we've got a different color. Again, you can sit here and type into these things here. So you've got the week, the date, the days, the weekends and when the holidays hit, term three, term four, and then your class, a spot for your class timetable. So there's a template there. If you like this template, you can right click on it. So, sorry, left click on the whole thing, right click copy. And let's say you want to use that one for term one, slot it in here and you can edit that as you want. So reading groups, you know, can go in there and then you can tick off when you're done. Just going to delete that. Um, and there, there's some to-do list and notes there if you like that as well. Variation to routine. So, you know, like a house meeting has happened, which will probably happen at the beginning of the year. It was the whole school. It was an hour and then you register it. Done. A spot here for your day book. So there's an example here what this could look like. Your day book specifically, ticking off things that you get done, crossing off things maybe that you don't get done, uh, putting notes down there as they change. Here's an example day planner that you could use instead if you would prefer it. And then I've given you some tabs here for your day book. So week one, week two, week three. And obviously these are in um, drop down boxes there. So when it gets to term two, you can drop that down and you can close off term one if you want to. We're going to close off term two and open up term one. School scope and sequences. These are just tabs here. I don't have example scope and sequences for you. That's up to your school, but you can copy and paste them in here so they're ready to go. And obviously if you're in stage three and you don't want the other stages, just delete them. 
a class profile so here's a OneNote version of a class profile that you could use you know you put the student name you could put their birth date if they're in attendance concern permission to publish medical EALD etc you get the idea and this again is editable if you want an extra column you can highlight the whole column come to the table and click insert right and you'll have another slot there that you can work with undo or you can just delete something that you don't think is in important there and use that We've got sections here for individual education plans. There's a template, behavior plans. There's a template, targeted intervention. Um, there's an adjustment checklist. That's a group intervention plan where you can pick, you know, five students and target them. Tiered intervention charts. So you can select your tiered students here. Uh, we use the blue for students who might be gifted or high potential. Uh, there is a OneNote version of it. And there's an example of what it could look like uh, when you fill it in with the names. Personalized learning pathways. So this is for our Aboriginal students. So there's documentation there from um, departmental elements there, links that you can use, um, the PLP action plan. So if you're an executive or if you're someone working on an Aboriginal uh, education committee, these are things that you might want to use. A PLP template, going to assessment, uh, a section for yourself on assessment, your assessment overviews, and then where you could put different things in there. Obviously these are editable as well. So let's say you're not um, assessing reading. Let's say you're doing you know, phonics. You can edit that to say phonics and it will say phonics instead. And you can edit the rest of them as well. So like I said, all fully editable. When it comes to reporting policy standards, there is an example um, writing guidelines here that again, you can, you can edit this so it suits your school. There is an example timeline there for getting your reports done. So this might be helpful for you if you're someone who loses track a little bit during the term. I've given you a bit of a, an example timeline there. Again, fully editable. Semester one, put your English comments. This is ticking off, you know, you can get this done. So if you don't want to work in Word or if you're someone who uses Central and you find that, you know, you have issues with it glitching or you can't access it, come in here, write the name, write the effort, write the grade, put their comment in here and some notes for yourself, like check with supervisor about uh, language or something like that. So you've got English, mathematics, your other KLAs and for some reason, oh, and semester two. I can't believe I didn't name that semester two. You guys will have to edit that yourselves. I'm so sorry. Term one, an example there, English, maths, hizzy, creative arts. And again, you can copy and paste this or just use it as is. And a section on work samples. So in here, I've downloaded all of the Akara work samples for you. So you've got, uh, this is kindergarten. This is an above uh, example portfolio, a below satisfactory portfolio and a satisfactory portfolio. So you've got English and maths and I've done it for kindy year one, two, all the way up to year seven. And then I've given you the link for some of the Nessa work samples as well. So I'm hoping by having these things in here ready to access, easily accessible for you, just reduces that workload a lot for you. Now I know there is a lot in there, um, but again, like I said, fully editable, lots of new things there. And I hope this really, really helps you get kickstarted with 2022. Make sure you click download. For those who want to see the... Google version, you will get this folder here and you've got all these different sections here to open up. So let's have a look at timetables, for example, all in here, ready to go. Some Playground Duty rosters, the RFF support timetable, more folders here ready to go. And that's just an example for you uh, moving off into a Google version of it as well. All right, I know that's information overload and there's a lot of things in there. I am always happy to take on board feedback for the next one. I can't believe I'm already thinking about the 2023 planner. Um, any suggestions, comments, welcome. Please contact me and please, if you're having any trouble whatsoever, just send me a message. I promise I will talk you through it so we can figure out a way to get this downloaded to you. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. If this is helpful for you, a thumbs up is always appreciated. I will leave my button down here. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please click there to subscribe. I'll put another video at the top there and I'm hoping that with a less chaotic year next year, I will be able to push out some more regular content for you all. Enjoy the summer break, everyone. Try and get some rest and relaxation.